My Vegas magazine owner and publisher Mark Schaefer has been devoted to showcasing the very best that Las Vegas has to offer. And today he's introducing us to the local doctor and owner of Crestview Dental, Dr. Adam Masignot, to discuss the connection between oral health and cognitive impairment such as dementia. Welcome to you guys. Hey, thank you. Thanks for having us. It's uh, great to be by, here. So, so tell me thank a little so bit, much, you know, Dr. Adams come by and, and obviously, you know, Dental health is very important. Yes, well, you know, they say your smile is uh, 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 is your signature these days, but a lot of people don't look at the health aspect, and the health aspect is so important, so we brought in the doctor to talk to us a little bit about that. So, Adam, tell me a little bit more. I mean, people would obviously think about going to the dentist to go for a cleaning and make sure that, you know, they've got their fillings up to date, but it, it goes much deeper than that, right? It's, it's a good point, a starting point for your actual general health. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I love a beautiful smile who doesn't. Um, and you know that's why a lot of people come to see me but what I'm really really passionate about is oral health and how it affects our systemic health and our bodily health. So can you explain what the beginning of periodontal disease or gum disease actually is? Yeah so I mean in a word like you said it's gum disease but it's, it's a more advanced form of gum disease. Uh, sort of the earlier milder form we call that gingivitis uh, but as that progresses we start to see a loss of what we call the periodontal attachment. Periodontal attachment comprises the gum tissue, the ligaments, and the actual underlying jaw bone. So those things start to go away. And as they go away, eventually there's only so much of that stuff to hold our teeth in place. Mm -hmm. We start becoming at risk for tooth loss. And what we're finding these days is that there is actually a fairly strong connection between periodontal disease untreated and um, cognitive decline and impairment such as in dementia and of course uh, what we seem to be most familiar with in terms of dementia is Alzheimer's disease mm -hmm. is the, uh, the most common form of, of dementia. So uh, is there an inextricable link between those, those starting points for periodontal and gum loss and dementia itself? Are you saying that that's the first stage along the path to what potentially could be happening? Well, um, so you know Medicine science is interesting. We have to draw a distinction between um, correlation and causation. Uh, correlation would be to simply say, well, you know, maybe someone who is, is very, very on top of their oral health is just a, a health nut altogether. So there's a correlation there that, you know, they take really good care of themselves. So, of course, they're less likely to have these other things. Versus causation saying periodontal disease untreated is causing dementia. Now, what we see is that we can't exactly say with positivity that periodontal disease causes dementia, but the links seem stronger and stronger as, as time goes on. And it's concerning to say the least, uh, certainly enough so that we want to prioritize our oral health. Yeah, I mean, some people would say that, you know, aging, uh, it's, it's part of life, you know, people lose teeth, you know, just like kids lose teeth, you know, adults as they get older lose teeth, but there's, there's something more significant to it than that. That could be a warning sign, a, you know, a precursor to something more serious, maybe. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, so one of the major offenders in periodontal disease is a bacteria that we call Porphyromonas gingivalis. Okay, big word. It's very actually, easy for you to say. Yeah, but uh, we can see how important it is to our gum health. It actually has the word gingiva in it, okay, which means our gums. And uh, this bacteria produces a very damaging enzyme called a protease that breaks down proteins in our body. We see that it breaks down proteins in our gum tissue, um, but we've also found this in very high concentration in the brains of people with Alzheimer's disease. Wow. And we find that in the brain, this protease, which we call a gingipane, is um, it's cytotoxic, meaning it kills cells. So the connection is there. And, um, you know, again, we certainly want to use this not as a point of panic by any means, uh, but just something to be informative to help us understand that the mouth is not a separate entity from the rest of our body. You mm -hmm. know, dentistry is not separate from health care. These are connected systems, and we have to prioritize them as a connected system. Wow. These, these are all important points, and hopefully this will, you know, make someone realize they need to go and see their dentist today rather than putting <laughs> off for another two or three months. So thank you for that great information. Mark, you also always come with great information. I understand yes. you have a bit of a surprise for everyone who's watching today. We do, we do. We have a lot of great restaurants in My Vegas Magazine and today we like to give away a dinner for two to some lucky, some lucky person out there if you're watching, myvegasgiveaway.com. 
Go there, sign up. You could win a dinner for two today. You could win a dinner for two and also go visit your dentist. I can't stress that enough. For more information about Crestview Dental, head to crestview-dental.com. And to learn more about My Vegas Magazine, visit myvegasmag.com.